Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. Today, <laughs> so about six months ago maybe, I don't even know when I made this video. I made a video called the 21 books I have to read before I turn 21. Here's the thing. <laughs> I turned 21 this week. This video was actually supposed to be going up on my birthday, but I haven't read enough books to upload my vlog this week. So this is going up in its place and then the vlog will be going up on Thursday instead. I'm not gonna be reading any books in the next four days that will be on this list anyway. So that doesn't matter, but I, mm, <laughs> I don't think I've done that well at this <laughs> at all. Oh, why bring it up now? Huh? Why bring it up now? Like, I don't, I don't have any hope. I don't have any hope. Part of me doesn't want to do this video because, like, I have no hope that I have read these. I think what I did when I made this video is I put books on the list to challenge myself. <laughs> Great idea. Like I put books that I thought I would struggle to get to and so I put them on the list to motivate myself. But of course, I made the video and then I forgot about it. Like I just, you know, out of my head. So I don't even know if I'm hoping for half on this because I think it's gonna be like classics and like literary fiction to try and motivate, motivate myself. myself. But I don't think, I don't think that's gonna have happened. <laughs> I lost the hope today, I'm in. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We are super duper close to 10k. Ah! Oh my god, my brain can't wrap around it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd be really appreciative if you did. Today, we are going to be talking about the 21 books I want to read before I turn 21. <laughs> it's all sunk in that I'm 20. I'm in my Very 20s. <laughs> I want to make this video and I want it to be something I hold myself to account on that I try to make sure that I read all these books by the time I'm 21 because in my head these are all the books that I'm like I'm gonna read you soon. First book that I definitely want to oh. read before I'm 21 is Wild Beauty by no. Anna Marie McLemore. Kayla from Books and Lala aka oh. haven't read it yet. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. Okay. If I mood read, like if I just read what I wanted, I would have read this by now. Like I want to read this book so bad, but it just hasn't fit into any video I've done, like any themed reading vlog. And I don't currently have it planned in any themed reading vlog. I mean, I have some reading vlogs planned that like I can't plan the books for in advance. However, it's got like a one in a hundred chance of being picked in them. I haven't read it. We're not off to a good start. Next on my list is Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Megan, I'm gonna Bardu. kill you. It's me! Again, bitch. Hello, you damn rock. I've had these for months no. and I haven't gotten around to them. No. I'm I'm fed up already. I'm I don't think I'm gonna read any <laughs> anything on this list. <gasps> oh dear, that's not good. I feel the need to say the F word now. Obviously haven't read them yet. <laughs> so I I have always wanted to do a dedicated themed reading vlog for these and it's been planned like in my schedule since like June probably but because you know sometimes I don't stick to schedule it's just been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back so I think at the moment it's in March. Yeah, no, I've said, here's the thing, this time I can't push it back because I've already told you I'm reading it in the first week of March because a few of you want to read it along with it with me, like read the series along with me. So I've already said first week of March, so I can't go back on it. So I am going to read it, but I haven't read it yet. And I'm like, honestly, I'm so ashamed. I am so ashamed because everyone tells me this is going to be like favourite favorite favorite because I loved Ninth House like everyone is out here telling me I'm gonna love it so I just need to read it but no oh my god I thought the YA section would be easy we're about to go into classics they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get I just I just want to cry I just want to cry that's all the YA I have <laughs> on the list because like I said YA is something that I get around to fairly quickly well, you didn't. the other stuff on this list is like me trying to force yeah. myself to read these because I know happen. that these could sit on my shelves for months. I think they have! I feel like we should get into classics next no. because those are the ones that have everything that I'm really going to put off. <laughs> so first I have two of the Penguin Cloth Bound editions. Them. I know already. So first is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Women. I bought this straight after watching the film many months yes. ago. Many months ago. <laughs> I loved the film so, so much. 
God, I hate myself. Haven't read it. It's wrapped up somewhere. So it could be in a wrapped up video at some point this year. I love the film. I've seen the film like four or five times now and I don't watch films that often. So like, I love the film. I love the film so much and I want to read the story, but like classics, I might have to do a video that is like getting over my fear of classics, a vlog. Let me know if you'd enjoy that because I just put off classics. Like I enjoy them when I read them, but getting around to them, whew, like, oh, like it's not, I don't do that very often, but I love them when I read them. So let me know if you'd like that to be a theme reading vlog. The next is another profound edition. I love Sherlock. <laughs> I've seen some discord. <laughs> I have not read Sherlock. I haven't read it. It is miffing me off somewhat. I don't want to speak about it. Oh my God, I have not read a single book. Is this the, this is the fifth one. We're a quarter of the way down and I haven't read a single book. Well, I wish I were dead. <laughs> oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Listen, I've got my Sherlock fix recently through the Athena Club series, the Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter series. So I have read stuff with Sherlock in. Have I read that Sherlock book? No. <laughs> Again, it's a classic. I don't think I'm gonna have read any of these classics and I don't know how many I'm gonna have put on this list. It's not gonna go well. <laughs> so I tell you what, I'm gonna have to do that classics video because it has to happen. It has to happen. Because there is a lot that I want to read, but I just put them off. Next is Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Wilfred Watson. My most viewed video on my channel is the one where I go and visit a lot of independent bookstores. And in that I visit Persephone Books, which is a bookstore which publishes out of print women's fiction. No, I want to cry. Haven't read it. <laughs> So I bought this Christmas 2019. That's how long I've had this because I bought it in that bookshop video. It's only like 200 pages. So like it shouldn't take me that long to read it. Oh God, I just hate myself. I can't even speak. Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed, they love you. This one is about this woman who lives a very mundane day-to-day -day life. And then one day she gets like taken in by this wild woman and they have like this crazy day together. You know, it intrigues me. I want to read it, but do I ever get around to it? No, no, I don't. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And then the last classic I want to make sure I get to is, uh, oh. I was going to say Daphne by Rebecca de Maurier. <laughs> ah, it's Rebecca by Daphne de Maurier. I want to cry. I want to cry. I want to cry. Haven't read it. Started making it. Had a breakdown. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> yeah, I haven't read Rebecca. Um, what do I have to say for myself? Nothing. <laughs> I was supposed to read this in a reading vlog. I think it was like reading the spookiest books on my TBR that I did. Why did I not read it? I think I just didn't have the time. That's the thing with like doing third year uni at the moment. There's quite often books I aim to read in a video and then I have to swap them out because I just don't have the time. Still really want to read this. Still think I'm going to love it. Oh my God, I haven't read a single book. I haven't read a si How many? Are I don't even know how many were on now. I've lost count, but I haven't read a single book. So, myself. so next let's talk about non-fiction. Okay, I have whole non-fiction here. books here. First is Not That Bad by Roxanne Gay. Oh my god. Oh my god, I thought we would have I thought we would have good luck here. I haven't read it. <laughs> Again, it's not that I don't want to read it. Like Wild Beauty, if I read, if I mood read, that would probably be one of the first books that I would read. However, I have to fit books into themed reading vlogs and I just like struggle with nonfiction to fit them into that. Oh my God, this is so sad. I love Roxane Gay. Bad Feminist was my favorite nonfiction of last year. This is a collection of essays by lots of different women, edited by Roxane Gay, talking about rape and sexual assault and rape culture. Um, and I've heard that it's very, very heavy hitting. I would love to read this. I would read this right now, no problem, but I haven't been able to fit it into a video. So we could all cry together. <laughs> Their next is Forgotten Women, The Leaders by Jing Shen. Oh my God, so. I'm so happy. I'm very unhappy. I'm actually, I'm actually, I could scream. I could scream. I could cry. I could actually cry. I'm watching the riot ends. <laughs> what are you watching them do? Bananas. <laughs> I've read it. Can you believe it? 
I've read one. <laughs> Success. I have read Forgotten Women the Leaders. I loved it. I gave it five stars. I do have another one in this series now. I have Forgotten Women the Writers. There's four of these in total. You just have the stories of women who history has forgotten and it just tells their story in like a few pages and it has these gorgeous illustrations in them. And I loved Forgotten Women the Leaders. I'm so glad I read it. I just love reading about women who history has forgotten but who, who had such impactful lives and um, who we should be remembering. So I loved this. I gave it five stars. I, I can't believe I read one. <laughs> Next is I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. Ah, I haven't read it. Again, another one. If I mood read, would have read it already. This is the recurring problem is that obviously, I mean, obviously there's a load of books I want to read and I do read books that I want to read when I do the videos I do. However, like I would have read this by now. I genuinely think I would have read this by now if I didn't do themed reading vlogs. Delusion. <laughs> Convince yourself. But like, I, I really love doing themed reading vlogs. I wouldn't stop it for the world. I don't mind that it takes me a little bit longer to get around to certain books. And then lastly is The Five by Hallie Rubenhold. So this is about the five women who were killed by Jack the Ripper. Again, do I even need to say it? Like, I, this is video is so boring. I haven't read it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. I'm so- I can't- there's not even a word that I can sum up how embarrassed I am. Like, embarrassed doesn't cover it. I'm a fake booktuber. Oh my god. It's so sad! And again, this is telling the story of women who history has forgotten and kind of erased and we only ever hear about their killer. Um, so I'd love to read it. <laughs> I would love to read it. Part of me always wants to do a non-fiction vlog, but I always put it off because I don't think anyone will care and watch it. And like, I know that's not important and I should probably just do it, but I'm always like, I can fit the non-fiction books in somehow in a more interesting way and then I, I never do. <laughs> First, this is an important one. Is it? This is really important. Is <gasps> The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. So, if you know me, you know how much I adored The Star of Sea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy today. Yeah. This is for all of us. I read The Night Circus! Yeah! <laughs> I loved The Night Circus. I gave it five stars, I'm pretty sure. I loved it. Erin Morgenstern can do no wrong. She's like one of my favorite authors. I love her writing style so much. The Night Circus was magical and whimsical and like complex. I love books that are so heavily based on atmosphere. Like atmosphere is very important to me and concept. Next is The Poppy War by R.F. Quang. So this is a fantasy and I honestly don't know too much about the plot at all. However, I read it! I read it! I read The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. I loved The Poppy War, also gave it five stars. It is this brilliant fantasy full of like political intrigue, war, following Rin, who is this dark skinned peasant who lives a really hard life. And to try and improve her life, she goes to this military academy where she discovers that she has all these powers that she never knew she has. She discovers the magic of the gods and it's definitely a story that balances between right and wrong and like morally gray characters. Oh my god, wait, we've read three! <laughs> Next is No Exit by Taylor Adams. So this is a thing ah! where- I read No Exit! Oh my god, apparently the adult ones are like it. Apparently I read loads of my adult ones. Oh my god, I'm so happy. It's about time! No Exit, another one I gave five stars. So here's the thing. Obviously the books I'm putting on this list are books I'm gonna love. Because <laughs> I think all of the books I have read from this list, I gave five stars. <gasps> so we all gag nation on this. Oh my god, all the ones I've read I gave five stars. So this just shows that this list is stuff I need to read from. No Exit is like the most suspenseful thriller I've ever read. I felt sick while reading it. I had heart palpitations. I've never been more stressed reading a book. If you want to be stressed, <laughs> read this book. It's horrible. It's about this girl who stops at like the service station and in the snow and she's trapped there overnight and she finds out that in one of the other vans a girl is in a cage locked up and it's her trying to save this girl but she's stuck there the whole night and you know pretty early on like who the bad 
person is. And so it's just trying to like escape and like outwit them. Ah! Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> then next are Half of the Yellow Sun and Americana uh, by Chimamanda oh. Ngozi Adichie. I have owned these for the longest. Okay, so I have read one of these, so we're up to five. I've read Americana, I haven't read Half of the Yellow Sun. I really liked Americana, it wasn't five stars, it was like a four star. It was very intimidating, but I'm glad I read it. So I've read like a quarter so far. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Like, that's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next is one that I put on the list to really challenge myself, and Did I'm you? honestly terrified. But it is you? Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantle. <laughs> this is following. No, don't even need to hear it. So this is like some kind of Tudor court history book. It's like 700 pages long. I don't know when I'm ever going to read this. I don't see it for me, but okay. Maybe that's like a future Megan problem, like a couple years down the line. I don't think it's. For me now. If We Were Villains by M. L. Rio. But this I think is themed off of or heavily inspired by The Secret History, which is one of my favourite books ever. Well, it didn't go very well. <laughs> I have read that. That takes us up to six. Okay, this is going a little bit better now. I read If We Were Villains. I read it in my Dark Academia vlog where I read only Dark Academia for a week. I didn't love it. I think I gave it like two or three stars. Maybe it was like a 2.5. I just found the characters so annoying and not in a good way. Like you don't, I don't have to like characters. I can hate characters, but they just have to have some flavour. Like they've actually got to have some like characterization, and I didn't feel like these did. Where's the flavor? Where's the flavor in this? I didn't feel like it was very well written. I was bored. I wasn't a fan and uh, I'm sorry, but yeah, wasn't a fan. <laughs> so that has gone away with the with the theory that all of these books were ones I loved, but we're still, we still have a good ratio here. <laughs> so the last three books are all books that I really want to read on okay. trip. The first book is Black Girl Unlimited by Echo Brown. So this is a rated <gasps> read it. author, which I, I read really it. love. Oh my gosh, okay, this audiobook was incredible, gave it five stars. So this is the story of Echo Brown's life, told in kind of this like magical realism way where her and her family and her, like her mother are wizards. It's so hard hitting, like it's very emotional. There's a lot of trigger warnings for this. I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but definitely like sexual assault is one of them. I will try and find a list of them all down below. I would say it's like a necessary read. I would really recommend getting to this if you haven't already. The audiobook is incredible. Echo Brown puts so much emotion into everything that she's saying. And I just think it was it was such a good book. So very glad I have read that. I also really want to get to This Time Will Be Different by Misa Seguria. So I literally just read this. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. I haven't even spoken about this on my channel yet because I, I just listened to the audiobook. I didn't vlog it or anything. So I'll be given like my full thoughts on it in my wrap up at the end of the month. But I really, really enjoyed this. This is a story of a character who works at her family flower shop and her mum wants to sell the flower shop back to the white family that bought it off of her grandfather years ago for like a very small cut and then her grandfather bought it back for like way way more like years later and so it's the story of like racism and anti-asian history in america but it's also like a romance and like a cute YA contemporary. And I think it balances those two really well. So I have literally only just read this. This is like scraped by on the list. I am back. What it do, baby? The last audiobook and the last book I want to read by M21 is The Hate You Give by Andy Thomas. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's shocking that I have never read The Hate You Give. It was shocking at the time that I hadn't read it, but I have read it now. I have read The Hate You Give and I've read On the Come Up by Andrew Thomas, and I do have Concrete Rose, which is Andrew Thomas's new release that just came out, which follows Maverick, who is a star from The Hate You Give's dad. I love The Hate You Give. This is, I'm sure everyone knows what this is about, but this is a story of Star who witnesses her friend getting murdered by the police and he's unarmed and it's a story of her trying to like figure out what she should do it's such an impactful book beautifully written again like i think this is very widely read like everyone's read this by now but i am glad that i read it this year so i read a total of hang on one two three four five i think i read eight <laughs> That is not correct. Which is better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much, much worse. Some of those, like, 
the poppy wall and no exit night circus they pulled us through i was not expecting them to be on here now when i make videos like this like when i make books i have to read this year when i made that video for example i'm much more realistic and trying to pick books that i actually think i'm getting gonna get round to rather than books that i want to challenge myself with because i don't think it's stupid like it's never gonna happen i'm happy with eight i feel like that's a successful number that's a lot better than i thought it was gonna be so thank you for watching this video and suffering through this with me i hope you enjoyed it if you've gotten to the end comment the shocked face emoji like the, <gasps> that one comment that down below if you've gotten to the end and i will see you very soon in another video bye